Hello, welcome to my video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly convert OS Engine JavaScript to Python within Jupyter Notebook directly. So uh, in my previous uh, tutorial, I have one uh, video showing you, uh, I think it's number eight here, showing you how to convert OS Engine JavaScript to Python and Jupyter Notebook. But that one, you need to have already have loads of JavaScript on your computer. And sometimes you might be, for example, if you are looking at the OS Engine uh, documentation, there are a lot of sample calls. And um, it might not be very convenient to uh, copy and paste to uh, create a JavaScript on your computer and then copy and paste the file. So today I'm going to show you like this an easier way that you can just uh, paste the source code to, uh, to notebook and then directly it can generate Python script that you can just run directly. Okay, so let's get started. In order to follow this tutorial, you need to install the GE Map Python package. And um, if you have not done this before, you can watch my first tutorial on how to install the package. Um, keep it in mind, you might need to use this line of code to install because uh, I haven't uh, pushed this one to Conduct Force and uh, 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 the uh, PYPI um, package yet. So you will need to install using this line in order to get the latest version of, um, of the package because I just uh, posted the um, commit here. I haven't uh, bumped the version yet. So just keep that in mind. And uh, next, you need to clone the repo, or you can download the, the examples from my repo, so notebooks. And this will be number 15. Once you have this one, then we can get started. So I already have this one on my computer. All I need to do is just to open Jupyter Notebook. And it should open uh, the Jupyter Notebook on your browser. Then I'm going to go to the notebook, number 15. So in here, I, I already have some of these uh, examples in here. I can let me delete this just to show you what it looks like. Um, in here. Okay, so here everything is empty right now. You see here, it's pretty simple. So first you need to import OS Engine uh, and uh, GMAP. And next, all you need to do is to, uh, by the way, if you need to update the package, you can, uh, let me add a new call. So oh, you can use this one, gemap.update um, update package. Okay, so all you need to do is just to execute this line, then you should, be, you should have the latest version. So in this way, you don't need to use conda or pip to update. So all you need to do is execute. And uh, then you need to restart the kernel. And uh, so they, uh, you, basically this line automatically execute uh, the one I just showed you uh, earlier. Let me go back to here. So this function install the latest version from GitHub. So essentially it's uh, executing this line of call. And then once you restart your kernel, you can, um, so let me show you here, kernel, uh, restart and clear output. You only need to do this one once. So I think I can comment out, okay. So I execute again. And next, all you need to do is just to, if you already have the JavaScript, uh, OS Engine JavaScript somewhere, you can copy and paste in here. Make sure that you have triple quotes, okay? Not single quotes or double quotes, you need triple quotes uh, because we are going to have multi-line uh, JavaScript. So next, uh, go ahead to the OS Engine documentation. These are all JavaScript uh, uh, source code uh, uh, examples. So, you, for example, you can go to any page and then just copy and paste. So for example, I'm just going to use this one in here. You can select all of them and then just control C or you can directly use this button here, copy, right? So keep in mind, these are all JavaScript uh, source code. Then head over to here. You can define a variable and then equal to triple quotes and then just paste in here. Now this is all JavaScript. So what we are trying to do is to save this multi-line JavaScript to a variable. And then later we'll use this variable to pass into this function called JS snippet to Python. And so passing the variable, 
and it's going to export a, a Python script. So in here, add new cell means you're going to create a new cell. Let me just execute this one to and you understand what I'm talking about. So execute this line. Now is the JavaScript is in available. Then we can execute this line. Pay attention, right? Uh, it's going to create a new cell uh, be below this, this, the current one. Okay, so just close your attention. Okay, once I hit run, if we generate a new one, so this new one comes from this line of code in here. It's the output. So the from the JavaScript uh, snippet, now it generates this code block. Okay. So the add new cell means it add a new cell to below. And then if you don't add a new cell, you, you can you will be uh, it will return a, a list of a, a, a lines. So basically, it's the same thing like uh, in here. And then whether you want to import uh, OS engine or not. So if you select true, you want to import this one. So these are all the default parameters. You can hit um, shift tab on your keyboard to bring up all the parameters. So here, the input uh, JavaScript and at new cell equal to true, import EE, import GE map and show the map. So import GE map basically at this line of code. And these two together uh, also add these two lines of code. Show map basically means, do you want to show the map? If the yes, you're going to append the map at the end of the source code, okay? But this somewhere in between, this one comes from here. So automatically conversion from this code snippet from here and then to here. And so X sum at the beginning and add another one at the end so that you can directly execute the source code. So all we need right now, execute this uh, code block, then it should create the map, initialize the uh, Earth engine, and add the data. So if you're familiar with the uh, Earth engine, so these are pretty simple, add uh, an image, and then how to uh, sim uh, change the symbology, and set the center of the map, then add the layer. So in here, you should see the ones, this one here on the layer control, and you can zoom in and zoom out like what you are doing. So you can hit the um, use inspector. You can click here to get all the value anywhere, uh, all the spectral bands, right? So you can also use the uh, plot uh, if you want. You can hit uh, this one. You can show you all the plots, right? So seem very simple. Just copy and paste. That's it. Uh, if you want to look into the source code, you can. So you can go to my GitHub repo. And if you go to GE map, and then it's from the GE map here. And if you scroll down all the way, it's probably somewhere at the end. Uh, it's maybe on, let me see here. Uh, JS, what's the name of the function? Let me take a look at again. JS snippet. Okay. It's an IPPET. Okay, probably it's the long file. Let me come to here. Uh, I think it's under maybe conversion. Okay, so let's look at this one. So in here, it's under the conversion uh, doc .py. Uh, these are the source code. So you see here, um, add the file and then add the new cell. If you want to learn more about the source code, you can uh, look at my source code. Anyway, so that's a simple example. You can continue to add more. So Later in here, you can define another variable, and I come back to here. I can copy another line of uh, three lines of code, and then paste in here, execute, and then execute this line. So by default, you don't need to pass in other variables. Um, you can use all the default ones. So just pass in the, the uh, snippet, and then execute. Then you have a new code block, okay? And then execute again. So now you have the new map okay, here. So this is the uh, normalized difference to our water index. So and if you want more, you can go ahead in here. So for example, let me go to uh, have a more complicated example, like this one. So copy and then control V, execute, and then execute. So you have a new code block, execute, execute again. Then you should have this one directly within your uh, proposal, uh, disposal. 
And you, you can continue to add more source code. So for example, if you want to add a customized uh, lesion, I also have a, a built-in lesion for this kind of data. So all you need to do is in here, map.add um, lesion, L-E-G-E-N-T, right? And then, so it, you just call the built-in lesion equal to this one, and then add here. So now you should have this one directly in here. You can also change the title, for example, uh, lesion title equal to modis lane cover. It's okay, right? You will see this one directly change. You can also use the inspector to uh, inspect the value if you want. Okay, so that's uh, all for this uh, tutorial. You see it's pretty simple and straightforward. You don't need to copy the script, save to a, a Python script, and then read the file, and then uh, do the looping. So this one provides you a much easier way that you can convert Earth Engine JavaScript to uh, Python. Keep that in mind, it's not perfect. Uh, sometimes you have very complicated JavaScript that you have a lot of uh, uh, loops or map functions, or you have a, a, a user interface. Those might not work very well, but most of the time, if your JavaScript only involves some simple computation, um, then this uh, automatic workflow should uh, automate, be able to figure out that for you. So you don't have to uh, spend time to do the conversion uh, by yourself. And I hope uh, it's useful. Okay, so uh, if you uh, enjoy this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.